Peace be with you and welcome to our Lenten Reflection for the final week of Lent. We are in Holy Week, sisters and brothers in Christ. The Bible passage we are called to meditate upon is that of the passion and death of Jesus. In line with this, allow me to offer you two reflections for this week. The first one pertains to personal identity and mission. Jesus constantly reminded himself and others of his mission. He proclaimed his mission and lived it through his words and actions. By so doing, Jesus was able to stay focused and not get distracted. This awareness of his mission gave Jesus a sense of purpose and direction in his life. It gave Jesus the courage to follow the path in front of him, even when that path led him to Mount Calvary. Many of us remember that Pope Francis went to Iraq in March this year. Why would the Pope go to a place that is dangerous and poor? Why put his own life in danger in a land where Christians are the persecuted? Pope Francis did this because his mission is to witness to the presence of Christ amidst those who suffer and feel abandoned. As the Pope, he represents Christ on earth. By going to Iraq as the Pope, he brings Christ to them. Pope Francis thus was aware of his identity and mission, and he lived it out by going to Iraq. Like Jesus and Pope Francis, we too must know our mission in life. To know our mission in life, we must discover our Christian identity, our gifts and talents, our desires and our passions, and finally, our weaknesses. To discover all this, we must be prayerful and reflect on God's presence in our daily lives. By so doing, the light of Christ will enlighten our heart and mind to know our God-given mission. How often do I take time to reflect pray, prayerfully the meaning and purpose of my own life? In what ways can I grow in the awareness of my God-given mission? The second reflection for this week. How comfortable am I with the challenges that come with my following of Christ? In Holy Week, the passion of Christ is highlighted. Jesus is arrested, judged and condemned, beaten and spat upon, ridiculed and laughed at. Then Jesus is crucified on the cross on Mount Calvary. Some Christians prefer not to be part of the suffering. Christ. They prefer a Jesus who is constantly providing miracles, gifts and healing. They do not want a Jesus who corrects and challenges people to conversion and repentance. Sisters and brothers, human life is a mixture of blessings and challenges. We have good days and bad. So too is our journey of faith. There are days when as Christians, we have to face difficult experiences such as difficult people, sickness, death in the family, financial crisis, heartbreak, etc. Something God has abandoned them when this happens. They cannot accept that Christians like Christ will sometimes experience suffering and pain. So which Jesus do I prefer? The suffering Christ or the miracle maker? What must I do to accept the total message of Jesus and not just the parts that make me feel good? Is my Christian faith based on feelings or commitment to Jesus Christ who is the way, the truth and the life? So this week, as we make our own way of the cross, let us feel the suffering of Jesus. 
Let us allow the passion of Christ to transform us and make us more committed Christians. May the Holy Spirit be our guide and inspiration.